This really should have been the first episode of Yojo Senki. The first episode was good. Don't get me wrong. It was interesting enough to where I wanted to watch episode 2. However, one of the big things that the first episode lacked was some characterization and kind of general world building. All we really got in the first episode last week was action. However, episode 2 of Yojo Senki, I feel, is a hell of a lot better of an episode than the first episode that aired last week. This episode focuses on Tanya the Evil, the main female character, or in this case, I guess we could say main male character, turned into a female character thanks to being reincarnated. So, the plot of this series, in a way, it's something we have seen before. It is something that is ne necessarily not original, because when you think about it, a character dying, being sent to another world and all that, given another chance or another life, it's something we have seen quite often throughout all of last year, actually. But, however, the way it is done with this episode, the execution of it is just so good. And also, the mix of a cutthroat person that is in a corporation, along with someone that straight up is a part of the military, I love the actual blending of that type of character, especially seeing the way it was displayed throughout this episode. And Tanya as a character, at first glance, when I first saw the character in the first episode, I didn't really care much about Tanya. Tanya just seemed very evil, and I mean, it was a cool design to her character and all that, but there wasn't really much, you know, I guess, beef there for me to really understand what was going on. And this episode gives much clarification of why Tanya acts like she does. So, to start off at the beginning, the episode opens up with letting us know that there is this dude that used to be in a corporation. He was someone that followed the rules, he feels like society needs to have a set of rules, and if you follow these rules properly, you'll be able to move up in society. You'll be able to become, let's say, the CEO of maybe a corporation. And that's kind of what his in-game goal was, to slowly move up by using the rules of society, or how the corporation operates. And, obviously, if you're gonna follow the rules, many are gonna look at you as if you're a scumbag, or some are gonna say, like, do you not have a heart? And, as you see in this episode, is that the character would lay off people, he would fire them and all that, and the people would get very upset with him, and this is how actually real life is. I mean, if you have the job of firing people, obviously people are going to be pissed off with you. They're just going to be really mad. Even if it's their fault they got fired, they're going to be mad at you because you're the one firing them. And so the main character got a lot of hatred directed towards him because he was constantly the one just doing his job. And after firing the wrong person, someone got eventually really pissed off with him, and they decided to try to take his life. And then that leads us into the actual plot of the series, finding out that the reason why the main character got turned into a girl in the first place is thanks to him being reincarnated. So, the point is, is right before he was about to die, this train's coming in, he's about to get hit, and then time just stops right then and there. And he looks around, he's like, what the fuck is going on? And he sees how a bunch of these people in the crowd just start talking, and he realizes he must be talking to some form of entity, for instance, maybe God or the Devil. And eventually he decides to dub this, you know, entity as being X, because he doesn't really know exactly what this creature completely is. However, even though he has a conversation with God, he even states he will not accept God. He will not accept this being that is before, uh, before him at all, and he just doesn't care about it. And so, you have it to where this being X decides to say, oh, so you don't believe in God or whatever, and I guess the only way for you to maybe believe in God is if you have some form of conflict in your life, if you have your life in jeopardy. And so, he sends the main character to another world that has has magic and is set in World War One, and that's kind of where the story takes place. So overall, the plot of the series is nothing original. It's nothing I haven't seen before. But the way it is done, it's tasteful. It's not something that just is like, eh, just get the shit out of here. It doesn't feel like that. Actually, Yojo Senki, now, after this episode, I have a whole new respect for this series, and I actually am really starting to enjoy the series. I mean, I liked the first episode, but it didn't have enough of that world building or characterization to really make me interested. And this episode alone ignites my feelings for the series once again. For instance, I want to watch the series, I want to see the next episode, because now, even though I know 
it's similar to other series I've seen, the way it's done, it's interesting. Like I said, I love the display and the contrast between Tanya, this evil lolly type psychotic character, to the salaryman type character that has been reincarnated. I like the display of the this character personality kind of meshed together and how it is shown in this episode. And I mean, we also get a lot of explanations to why this character acts like he does. For instance, how he wants to move up if throughout, you know, the actual standing of the military, why, you know, he constantly acts like he's very brutal or evil, he's just acting like a stereotypical salary man or someone would be a politician, he's just doing everything he can to follow the rules, but also move up and keep himself alive as well, and so, yeah, I mean, the introduction of this character or the characterization that it got throughout the episode definitely was enjoyable, so besides that, let's talk about the sound part of the episode. So, this is something I didn't really talk about much in my first episode review, but I want to kind of discuss it in this episode review. The sound of the series needs to be mentioned. It is something I normally don't mention in my anime reviews besides when it comes to music. However, the series Yojo Senki the sound direction, like, whoever's the director of the sound is doing such a splendid job with what I've seen or heard from the series so far, to with the characters' movements, to how they're flying through the sky, to how the guns sound, to the magic, the way that sounds, explosions, just all the sound effects and stuff I heard throughout the episode, it needs to be complimented, and I don't normally compliment sound effects and stuff like that, but it's something that really stood out to me while watching this episode, and I feel like Yojo Senki does need to be praised for that regard just alone. I mean, even if I didn't praise it for anything else, I still should praise it for its sound direction. I mean, whoever is directing the sound is doing a hell of a good job. Now, regardless of that, though, I say it's a very solid second episode, definitely better than the first episode, and I mean, honestly, like I said, I felt like this should have been the first episode, and then they should have given us the action episode that we saw with the first episode. Regardless, though, I'm glad I got to see it, and I'm glad I saw this episode, and I'm glad, you know, I decided to stick around for for the most part, to see if I would like the series, because honestly, I mean, I didn't know if I would like or not after the first episode, but after seeing this, yes, I, I definitely did enjoy it. So let me know your thoughts. I mean, how do you all feel about Yojo Senki? How'd you feel about this latest episode? How'd you feel about, you know, the characterization that, you know, Tanya got? How do you feel about finding out the past and how there's, like, another universe, and how he was brought to this universe that has magic? How do you feel about the upbringing of Tanya in this world? Let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below, and I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.